What is going on guys, it's Ashley here, welcome back to another Hurt Wolves video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the game between Crystal Palace and Wolves at Selhurst Park, which ended in a 1-0 draw. If I was sitting down here reacting to a 1-0 defeat, I think it would be a very different scenario. However, the fact that we've salvaged a 1-0 draw, I think... It uh, provides a much um, brighter situation where now we go into the game against Watford at Molyneux uh, next uh, next Saturday with confidence. And I think we can take a lot of confidence from this draw because we, we played brilliantly in the first half, absolutely brilliantly, created a, a, f uh, a few really good chances that... Going forward, I think we really do need to take because it almost cost us in the end. But I think we can take a lot of positives from that first half. It was a very good first half. And um, unfortunately, we didn't quite um, uh, we didn't quite match that in the second half. As uh, about 40 seconds into the second half, we went 1 0 down. It's quite disappointing considering how well we played in the first half. You would really. You would really expect us to uh, go on and continue that in the second half, but uh, yeah, we didn't, and uh, we found ourselves um, one nil down inside the first minute of the second half, which is uh, quite disappointing. But we kept on going, uh, although that uh, goal uh, undoubtedly uh, gave Crystal Palace a lot of confidence, um, and they, they went on to create a lot more chances from that. Um, uh, I think. We did play pretty well, unfortunately um, that good play uh, throughout the game really was um, was dampened on a little bit um, by uh, the sending off of Romain Saiz um, and I think the, the second yellow card, it was really rash, there was no, there was no need at all for that challenge, obviously Wilfred Zaha, a dangerous player um, a dangerous player for Crystal Palace and um, obviously um, their best player. He was uh, in, in no, no um, danger to us at all in that position and there was absolutely no need for that challenge, absolutely no need. And um, again, another factor that could have uh, potentially, um, potentially cost us the game, but then again, we, we went 1-0 down with 11 men, so... Not really sure on that, but again, there's there's no there's no arguing that uh, that that second yellow card, uh, there was no need for that challenge, absolutely no need at all. We kept battling hard. Obviously, Crystal Palace with the man advantage um, did have quite a few opportunities to wrap the game up, uh, which thankfully uh, for us uh, they didn't take. Uh, much like us in the first half, uh, we had a few chances uh, when it was still nil nil. Obviously, um, we had a few chances to go in front. This uh, this time, Crystal Palace were one nil up, trying to kill off the game, and um, thankfully uh, they didn't take their chances. Uh, otherwise, we would definitely um, have lost the game. Even with ten men, we kept battling uh, and battling and battling, and eventually, um, Crystal Palace in added time going going for the winner. Uh, moments before, they had a chance uh, to wrap it up, uh, but they didn't take it, and then. They paid the price. Um, five minutes into stoppage time, uh, we broke down the other end, and uh, Adama Traore uh, crossing for Diogo Jota, who eventually uh, finished um, finished calmly past uh, Vincente Guaita. Um, and uh, in the end, um, uh, provided us the equaliser that gave us a very valuable point going into the game against Watford. Um, next uh, on Saturday and uh, I think we can go into that game with a lot of confidence because Watford losing 8-0 uh, to, to Man City yes it's against Man City but any team that's beaten 8-0 eight, um, eight um, will not go into uh, their next game with a lot of confidence and I think we can take advantage of that obviously their morale will be low, the bottom of the league they've just been absolutely hammered so Hopefully, um, we can pick up uh, three points 
um, against Watford at Molyneux on Saturday. If you did enjoy this match review, make sure to smash that like button and I shall see you uh, I shall see you next Sunday with uh, a review of the Watford game. Until then, goodbye guys!